what free meals look like, guys. Free meals. And you feed these pigeons and birds. This kid's corner. He's gonna tell you real shit. Bitch. When you fool me, you fool yourself. Nancy's Corner, man. We back, man. Full effect. I'm out here. Got a different scenery. You know what I'm saying? We out here in the wild. In my Mayan. My Mayan, you know what I'm saying? My Mayan civilization right now. We about to break some real shit down. First, foremost, we got to do a shout out. Shout out to Shot97, Goodfellas TV, Captured Visions, Visual Aid, you know what I'm saying? Third World Production. Shout out to everybody fucking with the movie, you already know. But right now, we got to get some real shit, man. Three meals, man. We got a lot of scavengers out here, man. A lot of female scavengers and male scavengers too, but I'm gonna talk about the female scavengers because I don't deal with male scavengers, you know what I'm saying? I'm not on that Momo shit. I mean, I understand. If you want a free meal, there's charities, you know, you don't have to go in a man's pocket, keep on taking him on dates, and he don't, you know what I mean? He's not gonna get none. That's foul play. That's, that's, that's wrong, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be vulgar with y'all, but using a nigga to get a free meal, <clears throat> you look corny, baby. You look corny. You're probably giving a dollar church to the basket. You're probably coupon clipping, you know what I'm saying? But the free meal syndrome is real serious out here, man. I got niggas out here, you know, spending major bucks on shorties, and they can't even get nothing from the bitch. You look silly, my nigga. You spending all that bread with the shorty who has FMS, free meal syndrome, and all you're doing is getting a good meal and a couple laughs at the table. You're looking bad, man. You're looking real bad, man. Free meal syndrome, man. I don't know what's going on. Stop coupon clipping, you know what I'm saying? Make her cook. These are some signs, though. Some signs for y'all. A bitch who never cooks. A bitch who always wants to order out. When you ask her to chill, she's busy. She, all of a sudden, she can't come out unless, you know, food or the money or the liquor or the weed is involved. You know what I'm saying? Or another sign is she's taking forever to text you back. I don't care what nobody say. I'm, I got my phone in my hand 24-7, work or not, I be at work with my phone in my hand. A bitch take forever to text you back, but the minute you text her back and be like, yo, let me get, let's go out to do this side of the east, let's do brunch, let's go to IHOP, that bitch is answering. That bitch is there. You a sucker nigga, my nigga. Cut it out, my nigga. Signs, you know what I'm saying? Real shit, man. Watch out. They only want to go out to the restaurants. They don't cook. I talked to a bitch for a year straight. She ain't never cooked me no meal. I talked to another bitch. She told me, that, oh, she can't cook because she's living at a, you know, a relative's crib. What does that have to do with anything? So y'all don't, y'all don't eat? Y'all caveman? Y'all bang stones around? I don't know, something like, what do y'all do? Some of y'all is like, oh, what is he talking about? This isn't relevant. Oh, he's talking about peace. Oh, no, those of y'all who are saying that, it's because I'm exposing y'all plot. The 15 minutes of fame is over. If you're not giving up the pussy by the third, fourth date, and that's still a little too late, but we're not, we're not taking it no more. We're not standing up for this shit no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Get, you got to get the fuck out of town with this shit. The jig is up. The jig is up, man. No more free nothing. No more free rides. No more free food. No more free weed. You know what I mean? No more free sleepovers, shout out to the niggas letting bitches sleep over, eating your breakfast in the morning, nigga, and you don't even have a cooking, you clown, free meal ass nigga. Lancey's corner, man. If a bitch wanna go on a date, ask her, yo, what you trying to do after the date? If she wanna go home, she's a food digger, man. And if she's going home, every time after the date, man, she's a food digger, man. Or he's a food digger. And if that nigga's sleeping over and telling you he's trapping, and he's eating everything, Fuck that. I want to know these bitches who is free meal digging. What are you feeding your kids? Because a lot of y'all are single mothers. What are y'all feeding them? I just want to know, man. Lancey's Corner, man. It's all about the kids, man. If you're, if you're, if you're free di looking for free food, what the fuck are you feeding your kids? Leftovers from when y'all went out. Leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Doggy bags, man. Doggy baggies. You know what I'm saying, man? Shit is foul, man. A fast food diet for a child is not correct, man. Free meal syndrome, man. You can't be out here getting doggy bags and say you're raising your kid good, man. Anything that's microwaved is no good. It's no good, baby. You're not fooling us no more, man. Lancey's Corner, man. I'm back, man. Drop some knowledge for y'all, man. 
Back in the day, slaves, they was bed wrenches, you know what I'm saying? Females that was mistresses, mistresses to the slave owners, you know, got special opportunities, advantages. This is what these bitches is doing. Walking taste testers. They, you know what I'm saying? They're food wrenches. All they want is your food, man. You know what I mean? I don't know what to say, man. I, had, I talked to a chick one time. I bought her, I took her on several ice cream dates. Then when I, then when I said, let's chill at my, my crib and watch a movie, Shorty didn't answer the phone all day. <laughs> if that's not somebody with free meal syndrome, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a bitch tell me she's not interested, you know, but I could take her out. And then when I say, yo, what's your number? The bitch gonna tell me I don't get my number out, but she wanted the free meal though. Free meal syndrome. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. Walking taste testers, man. Lancey's corner, man. You hear the birds clucking. Free meal. What's going on? <laughs> free meals. Putting free meals out for the bird skis. It's Lansky season. Y'all niggas already know. I'm telling y'all straight up, though, man. Y'all hoes play y'all positions. Y'all niggas play y'all roles to be men. Asiatic black, man. You know what I'm saying? Just keep on tuning in, man. All I want to say is, ladies, be careful out here. A free meal is a free meal. But when you attract that psycho nigga who's outside your dorm door, or that psycho nigga that's outside your, your family's door, or that psycho nigga following you, you like, why this nigga following me? It's because of the two for 20 from Applebee's. Seven times. And he didn't get no pussy. Lancey's Corner, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm back in full effect with all y'all fuckboys, nigga. Lancey's Corner. He's gonna tell you real shit. Bitch. When you fool me, you fool yourself. Free meals, this is a classic. These hoes don't even understand. This is, what this is what they look like. Look at that, they're bringing their children. This is the doggy bag shit we was talking about. Look, they're giving the call. Uh, blur. Shout 1017 Brick Squad. <laughs>